conservatives have won the war against M&Ms. That's right. And what was uh, the result of one of the dumber parts of last year's culture war discourse? M&M slash Mars has announced that they are dropping their spokes candies. This is after conservative backlash from Fox News and commentators uh, had, you know, uh, apparently is scared them into not wanting to make changes to M&Ms. So look, uh, number one, the story is frustrating because it means absolutely nothing. They're M&Ms. They're candies. Who cares? <laughs> right? But the right wing got triggered. And so they spent countless hours talking about anthropomorphic candies. And so the company was just forced to get rid of them altogether. So let me give you the details, right? Back in January 2022, Mars Inc. announced that they were restyling the M&M's logo and the looks for their spokes candies. Mostly changes for their shoes. And to be more inclusive, as well as giving the female green and brown characters more prominent placement to achieve a little bit more gender balance. Now, this is, no, this is something that nobody asked for. <clears throat> nobody on the left was clamoring for M&Ms to just do a different marketing campaign. But like the left kind of, you know, just kind of left it at that because it's like, okay, we didn't ask for it, but who cares? It, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's just candy. But the right wing found this out, and they went absolutely apeshit. Here's some of the examples. M&M's, the candy company, has just announced that it's redesigning its cartoon characters to be more gender inclusive. The green M&M, you will notice, is no longer wearing sexy boots. Now she's wearing sensible sneakers. The other big change is that the brown M&M has, quote, transitioned from high stilettos to lower block heels. Also less sexy. That's progress. M&Ms will not be satisfied until every last cartoon character is deeply unappealing and totally androgynous. Until the moment you wouldn't want to have a drink with any one of them. That's the goal. When you're totally turned off, we've achieved equity. They've won. So women, do you feel represented now because of the green, purple, and brown M&Ms on the M&M package that you're guzzling down lonely in your apartment with your wine and your cat? If, if this is what you need for validation, an M&M that is a color that you think is associated with feminism, then I'm worried about you. I think this is the kind of thing that makes China say like, oh good, keep focusing on that. Yeah. Keep focusing yeah. on giving people their own color M&Ms uh, <laughs> while we you know, take over all of the mineral deposits in the entire world. We go from sexy M&Ms, or, or I should say the, the M&Ms are not sexy enough. Oh, uh, yeah, frumpy, frumpy non-binary candy. Uh, I just, I just don't know what I'm going to do with myself, Tucker Carlson says. What am I going to do on a Friday night with a bag of M&Ms? I, I mean, I can't do what I usually do. And you don't really want to know what he would usually do. Based on that response. And then uh, going to, uh, you know, changing the, changing the M&Ms. China would love it. Nobody, nobody cared. This is a corporation that was trying to make money. That's all they're trying to do. That's all corporations are supposed to do. And yeah, I guess, you know, if you want to make more money, you should appeal to more people. It's literal capitalism. That's it. It's just, it's literally capitalism. Are you against capitalism? Fox News guys and gals? Uh, but look, as hilarious as it is that Tucker Carlson got mad that he couldn't get a boner from eating green M&Ms anymore, they decided to change it. Um, on Monday, the official M&M's Twitter account posted a message to America announcing the end of their spokes candies. He said in the last year, uh, the message said, we made some changes to our beloved spokes candies. We weren't sure if anyone would even notice, and we definitely didn't think it would break the internet. Yeah, it didn't break the internet. <laughs> like a handful of conservative people were outraged, and then 
people like myself then jumped on the right wing to make fun of them for getting triggered over a candy. That's basically the extent of the outrage here. Then again, you can look at Tucker Carlson, uh, where he has the largest show on Fox News. Largest political show, I should say, on Fox News reaches millions of people. They continue. But now we get it. Even a candy shoes can be polarizing. Which was the last thing that M&M's wanted since we're all about bringing people together. No, 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 you're just, you, you just want to sell things. That's it. It's, it's, it's literal, literal capitalism. Actually, you know what? Uh, I'm going to tell you about the real reasons that they try to do these changes. Okay? But first, rest of the message. Therefore, we've decided to take an indefinite pause from the spokes candies, announcing that they would be replaced by a spokesperson America could agree on, the beloved Maya Rudolph. Who they described as being able to champion the power of fun to create a world where everyone feels like they belong. Look, I don't care who's doing candy commercials, okay? It doesn't really matter to me. But let me tell you the real reason they did the changes, okay? Mars Corporation, you might not have heard this, especially if you watch Fox News, because in none of the coverage about the candy did they mention that Mars Corporation was sued for child slavery back in uh, 2021. Oh, yeah, the whole child slavery thing. That's right. They were, pay they were sued, a uh, class action lawsuit, by eight former child slaves who said that they were forced to work without pay, obviously, on cocoa plantations in the Ivory Coast, which produces about 45% of the global supply of cocoa. <clears throat> I think uh, somewhere around 85% of the cocoa comes from Africa, most of it going to the United States. So, this actually went to the Supreme Court. And eight to one, the court ruled against child slaves. That's right. They said, well, you know, we look, we can't rule on your behalf because you don't have any standing in U.S. court. It's a U.S. corporation, sure. But, you know, I mean, it's not actually a U.S. corporation. It's a multinational corporation, and therefore, uh, we can't do anything. Uh, there are no laws to police these multinational corporations. And since it happened in another country, mm, can't do anything. Sorry, child slaves. Now, the uh, <clears throat> majority opinion was written by uh, Justice Clarence Thomas, by the way. So, yeah, uh, what better... Uh, what? better way to hide the news, you know, uh, that you were sued for child slavery than to do some marketing changes aimed at being more ex uh, gender inclusive. And of course, when you do that, you piss off conservatives far more than when they did child slavery, because you didn't see conservatives talking about that. Oh, did you know M&Ms and Mars did child slavery? Oh, horrible. We care so much about the children. No, you don't. No, the only thing you cared about is no more sexy green M&M. And so look, the company, I'm pretty sure the company loved this news cycle. Yes, conservatives got mad at them. But at least, at least they didn't have to talk about child slavery anymore. That's right. That's right. Uh, and... So, you know, they uh, take advantage of the news cycle. They, they, they're they happy that they get to ignore that other thing. And, uh, you know, now they get Maya Rudolph. And nothing against her, of course. In fact, I uh, actually really enjoyed her uh, Kamala Harris impression during SNL. But anyway, here's the thing about uh, M&M's and Mars and these giant multinational corporations. Why don't they just stop being terrible? That's it. I mean, stop using exploitation to make a profit. I know, I know. Then uh, they would lose out on profit, of course, of course, of course. Just a thought, just a thought. But look, in this way, though, conservative freakout, they help people forget about this or never hear about it. I don't know how many people didn't hear about being sued for child slavery. And, but now the, the right wing can take a victory from this. They can say, oh, we, you know what? We, we beat them. We beat the... The wokers. 
The, and they're woke candy. We beat the left. We beat the left. Who never asked for these changes in the first place? The only thing the left was asking for is stop using child slaves. Stop exploiting people, human beings for profit. Stop it. But no, no, this is, again, spun up for a victory for the right wing. Against wokeness. And that's, uh, unfortunately, the state of discourse in America. 